Welcome back to another Storefront UI video tutorial. Today we have View Storefront core team member Justina with us, who's going to be diving deep into how to use slots in props in Storefront UI. Personally, I've been like really looking forward to recording this video because I think slots especially are fundamental to making reusable and scalable web components. Um, in case you're not familiar with slots or props, we're going to be linking some useful uh, resources in the description that you should probably check out first and then come back to this video because we're going to be diving directly into how to use them in Storefront UI. So just go ahead and catch up and then come back to this video. And Justina, take it away. Thank you, Alida, for this nice introduction. And let's start it. Um, as you can see, I'm in our documentation. And I will start from props and we'll go for SF card component. Here you can see an example of SF card component. It is in Canvas tab. And then below in controls, you can see props tab. And here you can see uh, all props that are needed for this component. But the better way to see what props are needed and what types they are is to go to our docs right here. And here we can also see an uh, example of this component. And below, you can see that we have table with props names, description. Also below the description is type, uh, type of uh, prop and it's, de it's default value. So right now, if we know what props we should use to properly view SF card component, we can go to our code. Okay, so as you can see, I have opened my basic uh, Next.js project and I have exactly the same uh, props like we saw in, in our documentation. Don't worry about this class, it's just for my styling purposes. So let's go to the browser and see the project. And this component right now looks like this. And if we would like to change this title, you can see that it's already changed. And um, it's, it's a very good way of uh, customizing our components. And you can see in, uh, our, uh, in my uh, second uh, example, this example has totally different uh, props than the, than the first one. And you can see now, oh, <laughs> I need to say, how different it looks like now. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so I think this is enough about props. Let's go to slots. And uh, when it comes to slots, uh, we have uh, two types of slots. We have uh, named slots and also default slots. And below, below props, we can see this tab slot. And we can see that here are details and action slots. Details is for heading and description, and action is for button. And right now we can try it in our code. Save and go back to our project. And you can see that now our title uh, has gone and description and even though we have title uh, as a prop we have uh, we don't have it right now we only have uh, this paragraph and this icon so slot, uh, slots uh, will replace everything that it was uh, for this content and uh, in slots uh, named slots, uh, the pattern is like this. You need to mm, put the temp template uh, input, uh, <laughs> template uh, tag inside a uh, component. 
-hmm. And if it's named, if, if it's a named uh, slot, then you need to put a hash and name of this slot. So in this comp in this uh, example, details. So I think this is also a pretty great example of what people are going to want to do with slots, which is use more SFUI components inside of other storefront UI components. So here we're using an SF icon component within another component. So this really starts to be re become rewarding when you put this together with different molecules and different organisms and create more and more complex things without writing a bunch of code yourself because you're just using slots. And that's yes. where, and then you can use a lot of custom, it's all your own template now, so you can add your own CSS to it too, right? Yes, exactly. And now we can go to uh, the second type of slots, it, what it, uh, which is default slots. And before I will show it in uh, our project, I will go to the documentation, because as you can see, there is no default slots in SF card component. So we need to go to a component that uses um, slots, default slots. And I choose batch component. And again, in docs, uh, we can see slots. And here we, we can see default. And now I will go to code and save it and check my project. Now we have batch component with text home. And it looks exactly the same as uh, the component in our storybook, of course, besides the text. And when, in, when in, it comes to um, default slots, the pattern is a bit different. We don't need template uh, tag. We only put content inside SF batch. And if, what if we would like to uh, put more than just a text like here, we can do also this. So put much more than just a text, like an icon and a text. And let's see how it looks like. Now you can see the differences between those two components. Nice. And in general, for like kind of a like nice rule of thumb is if it's like a relatively simple component and there's only one slot, it's probably going to be a default slot because there's no need to name it explicitly. So that's just a good way to know if you need to go and find the name for the slot or if you can just dump right something right into the tags. Yes, exactly. So that's been a look at how to use slots in Storefront UI. Um, as usual, if you have any questions about this, feel free to find our Discord server and specifically within the Discord server, we have a Storefront UI channel where you can find Justina uh, and then all of the other Storefront UI team to answer your questions. Uh, we're also going to be linking uh, our GitHub issue where we have, uh, where we're taking requests for Storefront uh, UI tutorial videos, which is actually where we picked up this topic too. So again, if you want to reach out to us with topics, that's a great place to leave something. And lastly, we'll also be leaving a link to the docs that Justina showed uh, so that you can go and look at all the different components, kind of play around with them and see how you can customize them and all the different slots you can play around with.